In today's episode, I am showing you how to customize your very own t-shirt with multiple layers of crickets and fusible ink. Now let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your Cricut and crafting channel where I post Cricut tutorials and projects and inspiration every single week. So if you are new around here, well, you are definitely going to want to go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never have to miss a single Cricut minute. Now today, you guys, I am so, so excited because we are doing a Cricut infusible ink layered project on a t-shirt. Now, I know that some people say do not layer Cricut infusible ink, but I'm gonna show you a little tip, trick, or hack, whatever you wanna call it, that will allow you to get around that whole process and actually get a layered infusible ink project. So what we are gonna to need to do this project today is obviously a Cricut cutting machine. Now, I'm using my Cricut Maker, but you can also use a Cricut Joy or a Cricut Explore Air 2. Now, if you're in the market, if you're just interested in Cricut uh, cutting machines, I will link all those for you down in the description box below. And secondly, what you're obviously gonna need is a heating source or a heating element, such as a Cricut Easy Press 2, like this one right here, or you can even use a, uh, an actual heat press. Now, I do not recommend going the route of using a household iron. And the reason being is because you need a heat source or a heat element that can get up to 400 degrees and also heat extremely evenly. And that's one of the things I actually love about the Cricut Easy Press 2 is because this heating plate heats extremely evenly and it actually is very accurate with its temperature. So let's say you set 400 degrees up here. Well, this will heat up to 400 degrees. It may vary a few degrees here and there, but nothing, nothing close to what an actual household iron will vary in, in terms of temperature, if that makes sense. Now, obviously, you're also gonna need some Cricut infusible ink and whatever colors will match the design that you're using. Now, we are going more of like a 4th of July slash Americana kind of theme today. So I am using this red, blue, and I'm using the black sheet in this little bundle right here. Obviously, use whatever colors are gonna match your design, but for my project today, that is what we are using. Now, you are also gonna need something to apply your Cricut infusible ink to, right? And I am using this Cricut brand infusible ink t-shirt blank right here. Now, I typically just go to Walmart, if I'm just being completely honest, or really wherever, and try to find any type of material that is white or light gray, and that has a polyester count of 90% or higher. I know some people will say, just try to find something with 60% polyester or higher. Me, that's a no-go. I want something that's at least 90% or higher for your absolute best results. And if you've been around here for any length of time, you know that I always have your best results in mind whenever I do these videos. So this is what I'm going with as of today. And I actually found this on Cricut.com. Very, very affordable. I think they were marked down or maybe even on clearance. Uh, but I will link those for you down in that description box below in case you're wanting to check those out. Now, anytime that I'm messing around with Cricut Infusible Ink, I always like to have a pair of gloves on hand. And the reason being, if you have any oil or lotion or anything on your hands whatsoever, you can actually damage your Cricut Infusible Ink transfer sheets just by touching them. So just always as a precaution, I always like to have a pair of gloves on hand whenever I'm messing around or playing around with them. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors as well as some weeding tools. Now, as far as weeding tools today, I mean, you could easily use like a Cricut weeding tool. You could use a pin pen. You could use like a stab and grab tool. Whichever one suits your fancy or whichever one you have on hand will work fine. But more or less, you just need something that will help you weed out your Cricut infusible ink. You're also gonna need a lint roller just like this one right here to roll over any shirt or material that you, you're applying Cricut Infusible ink to. And the reason that you wanna do that is because you wanna make sure that there's no lint or dirt or anything else on your shirt that will prohibit your Cricut Infusible ink from actually applying it to your shirt, to your material. And last but not least, you're also gonna need a laptop, a tablet, or a phone to operate Cricut Design Space with. So let's get started. So here I am on the canvas in Cricut Design Space, and the first thing that I want to do is to come over here towards the left-hand side of the canvas, 
and select upload right here. And as you can see right here, I've already uploaded my Abraham Lincoln America SVG file that we're gonna be using. Now I did get this from designbundles.net in case you're interested in it. It is currently 50% off. So I will leave a link for that down in the description box below in case you're interested. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select insert images. There we go. Now I have already measured out my t-shirt and I do know that I want my design to be nine inches tall. So what I'm gonna do is to come up here towards the top of the canvas, right up here where it says size. And right here next to height, I'm gonna clear out those numbers. Just type in nine, hit enter, and it's automatically resized for us. Now there is one other thing. Since we can't actually layer Cricut Infusible Ink, we're gonna to have to basically kind of slice our way uh, through any kind of design that's overlapping each other. Now we're kind of lucky with this specific design because nothing's really overlapping except for one element. And that is the star section right over here on the right hand side of the canvas. The star layer is overlapping this blue layer right here on these sunglasses. So all we need to do with this is just simply hold down our shift key, select one of those layers, and then select the second layer, just like so. And then what we wanna do is to come down here towards the bottom right hand corner of the page and select slice. Now what slice is, is more or less kind of like a cookie cutter. Anything that's layered on top of each other is gonna slice completely through. Now obviously you're gonna have like remnants that are not gonna be part of your image that you can go ahead and just delete out, but we can do that right now. So as you can see up here in the top right hand corner, this is the slice result right here. So we do not need these, we can delete those out. Just by clicking this little garbage can up here at the top right hand corner, just like so. And as you can see, the stars were automatically sliced out of our blue sunglasses. So perfect, there's no layering needed, so to speak. So what I'm gonna do is to come up here towards the top right hand corner and select to make it. Now, since we are using Cricut Infusible Ink, we definitely need to mirror all of our designs. And the way that we can do that is just by coming over here on the left hand side of the page and clicking this little mirror tab right here. Then you wanna select your second mat, mirror that one as well, and then do the same for your third mat. And then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Okay, so now as far as materials go, what you wanna do is select this infusible ink transfer sheet setting right here. There we go. And now all we need to do is get our mats prepped and ready. Okay, so one of the things that I did forget to mention earlier that you're gonna need is these Cricut cutting mats. Now, I actually found these on Amazon. They're a Cricut brand. And I got a three pack of them for I believe 12, 13, $14, somewhere around that range, which is just a remarkable, remarkable deal. So in case you're interested in those, I will leave the link for those down in the description box below. And as for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my little uh, protective sheet. I'm gonna put on my gloves because again, remember it is very important in my opinion to be wearing gloves when handling uh, Cricut infusible ink. You do not want to ruin your transfer sheets, that's for sure. So the first layer of infusible ink that I'm applying to my mat is this black layer right here. Yeah, if you take a look at that, it doesn't look black at all, does it? And that's because right now it's not, but I promise you once the heat activates it, this will turn black, which is just really cool. Okay, so that is nicely applied to our cutting mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it into our Cricut Maker or whatever cutting machine you're using. And while that's cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and load my other mat. Okay, so our first mat is done cutting, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload that. And I'm gonna go ahead and load our second mat, which is the blue one. And while that's cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this infusible ink transfer sheet off of my mat. And the way that I wanna do that so that I don't actually damage my transfer sheet is by flipping the mat over and peeling the mat away from the infusible ink transfer sheet instead of the other way around. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my scissors and actually trim out around my design on my transfer sheet. Okay, so as you can see on this layer right here, the sunglasses, or at least one portion of the sunglasses, so what I wanna do is actually just go through and just trim out and trim those apart. 
All right, so now here comes the fun part, the weeding out everything, right? So what you wanna do with Cricut Infeasible Ink is actually start to kind of roll it. And if you can kind of hear that, it's kind of like a cracking method. Basically, it's separating all the different pieces of the Infeasible Ink apart. Now, if you've never used Cricut Infeasible Ink, it's definitely different than messing around with vinyl. This is actually more of like a rigid, thicker, uh, more uh, solid piece of material than, than vinyl is. So we may not actually even need weeding tools whatsoever. This depends upon you and your style and technique. But so far, I haven't used them for this particular design. I have used them for designs in the past, but um, every design's a little bit different, isn't it? Okay, so there is our fully weeded design right there. So now it's time for our sunglasses. Again, just kind of twisting it, turning it, barely bending it. You don't want to actually damage it. I'm going to go ahead and just grab a, a pin pin tool. Okay. And as you can see what I'm doing right now, it's just kind of peeling off the sunglasses from the backing. Very, very carefully though. So just like that. And what I'm going to do is actually fit them in like a puzzle piece right here on OA. And again, you definitely want the ink side facing up whenever you do this. Okay, so something just like that will work out perfectly. So now for this other little section of the sunglasses, the red stripes. Again, just kind of bending it. You get it to kind of loosen up a little bit. Okay, so there are our stripes right there. But what I'm going to do, I want to actually trim off all of that transfer tape or that carrier sheet off all around that as close to the design as I can get it. All right, so there we go. So now what I wanna do is fit this perfectly inside of these sunglasses. Again, ink side facing up. You wanna make sure that there's no parts that are covering other pieces of infusible ink. And there is our Abraham Lincoln design. Now we do have one more section to go, and that's this America section right here, which I just love. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. A little country, so to speak, I guess, like America. So now for the little sections inside the letters, all you have to do is kind of bend it a little bit and you can get those to pop right on out. Just like that. <laughs> all right, so now I just want to trim off the excess of that carrier sheet right above it. And I want to trim off the excess carrier sheet right here underneath of his beard. That way I can get that America um, section as close to him as I want it to. All right, so that should do the trick. All right, so here I am on the Cricut Heat Guide. And if you're wanting a link to this, I will leave it for you down in the description box below. But right here is the page where we can find out all the settings for any Cricut type of material or product. So right up here towards the top, you select what type of Easy Press that you have, either the Easy Press Mini, the Easy Press 2, or just the regular like older version of the Easy Press. So since I am using the Easy Press 2, this will stay selected. I'm gonna scroll down here and select our heat transfer material. And I'm gonna come down here all the way to the bottom and select the infusible ink transfer sheet. Now for our base material, I'm gonna select that and then just come down here and select t-shirt. Click apply. And it's telling us that our heat temperature settings should be 385 degrees for 40 seconds, light pressure and doing a warm peel. So that is what I'm gonna get out and get ready. All right, so here is my Cricut Easy Press 2. And what I'm gonna do is you just turn the power on, just like so. I'm gonna hit this little thermometer right here and then increase that temperature up to 385 degrees. And if we were to change the temperature, like the time settings, what we would do is just click on this little clock right here and then adjust it with this little up and down arrow right over here. All right, so while that is heating up, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my shirt prepped and ready. Okay, so I'm just laying my Cricut Infusible Ink T-shirt out onto my Cricut Easy Press mat just like so. And another thing that I forgot to mention earlier that you will need is just a sheet of cardstock. It doesn't have to be this color, it can be regular white. But what you wanna do is take a sheet of cardstock, stick it up right inside of the shirt, right under the area where you'll be applying your design. And the reason for that is to make sure that your design, your infusible ink, doesn't bleed through and stain the back of your t-shirt. 
Okay, so now that that is laid out, I'm just grabbing my lint roller and then just rolling over this t-shirt. Frontwards, backwards, every which direction, just make sure that there's nothing on here. All right, so our Easy Press 2 is done heating up. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a sheet of butcher paper. Now this does come with your Cricut Invisible ink, so there's really no reason to have to go out and buy any, especially since you can reuse this at least a few times. What I'm gonna do is just take that, apply that over top of my t-shirt, and then just kind of preheat it just a little bit. Then we're gonna grab our design, and I wanna do at least two to three finger widths below the collar. Okay, so right there should be just fine. And then I'm just grabbing our little America and putting that right beneath of it, just like that. So now I'm gonna take the butcher sheet, cover this back up, grab our easy press, make sure that it's covering the entire design. Hit the little Cricut button for it to start. And I'm gonna apply, it said light pressure. I'm gonna apply light to medium. Just making sure that you do not move your Easy Press around. You do not want your Easy Press gliding around because that could move your Cricut Infusible Ink Transfer Sheet and could cause like a ghosting or like a blurred effect, which just isn't cute in most cases. Okay, there we go. So I just wanna lift straight up and off of the design. We can go ahead and remove our butcher paper. And it's said to do a warm peel, typically just waiting until it kind of goes from hot to warm. Or one way that you can kind of expedite the process is by removing this Cricut Easy Press mat out from underneath of your, your clothing or your shirt. The reason being is that this is actually designed, this is made to hold and retain heat, but also reflect that heat back up towards your garment or your design. Meaning that removing this will actually help this cool down so much quicker. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lift straight up with our design, just like that. And you guys, here is our design. Now I know a lot of people will wonder, well, why can't you use just regular HTV, which is also known as heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron-on vinyl. Like why wouldn't you just use that for your t-shirt? And that's a pretty valid question. You absolutely can use HTV on a shirt like this for this exact same design, actually. But one of the pros with Cricut Infusible Ink is it's gonna last so much longer than your regular iron-on vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. And the reason being is it actually infuses the ink into the shirt. It actually becomes part of the shirt. So if you were to stretch it out, you can see it's part of the fibers now. The design is now infused into the fibers of the shirt, which is just so, so freaking cool. It's not gonna fade or at least not easily fade. Um, over time. Now, whenever you do wash this, you do want to turn it inside out, probably wash it in colder water. Yeah, this is just going to last a very, very long time. So it depends upon what you're wanting to go for with your design. If you want something sitting on top of your shirt, or if you want something that's kind of infused into the fibers of the shirt, but this is just kind of a cool little workaround. I honestly, I love the design. Again, the design comes from designbundles.net. It is 50% off at the time of recording this. So I will leave a link for that down in that description box below. And it's not just this design, it's actually a full 4th of July bundle. And it's only a few dollars, I wanna say. Two, three dollars, something like that. So very, very affordable. Now, if you all like today's project, please, please, please let me know down in the comment section below, as well as stamping that like button before you go. Both of those things help me out tremendously here on YouTube and I honestly, I just can't thank you enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Now, just as a reminder, everything that I used or mentioned today will be listed and linked for you down in the description box below. And if you are wanting to master your Cricut cutting machine and would like to be in a group with a bunch of other Cricut crafters where you can ask your Cricut related questions, get some answers, show off your finished projects if you'd like and get plenty, plenty of Cricut related inspiration well then you definitely need to be in our brand new Cricut Crafting Community Facebook group. But here's the thing, it is exclusive to only the subscribers of this channel. So here's a little subscriber check right now. Check to see if you are subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications and then click that link that's down in that description box below to request to join. And hey, if you are feeling social, I would love it 
If you decided to give me a follow on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or on TikTok, all of those are listed down below as well. As always, thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. I am so immensely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.